go two than one. Two, two is nothing. Hi, everyone. Hello. It's the Jim. And Dave. Beer, beer review. review. And we get better at saying beer review at the same time the more beer reviews we do. Yes. That's a good thing. It is. Listen, people, we've got a different kind of beer here, it looks like. Yeah, please. We've tell us what's on tap. Old Foghorn Ale. Old from, Foghorn Ale. From Who's it Anchor from, buddy? Anchor Brewing. From Anchor Brewing. Brewery, I guess. Anchor, like Anchor Steam? Anchor Brewing. A San Francisco brewing tradition. Anchor and Steam. If anybody who really knows me, loves, knows me, knows that I like my sports teams. Did from, you see how he said nose and then touched his yes. nose? I love the San Francisco 49ers, the football team. They're my favorite football team ever. And I like, I like 69ing. The, I like the Giants. I like the, 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 the city in general. A lot of my TV shows that I watch are, come from there. I think it's an awesome place to be. Even Sliders. Though the only time I went there. The streets of San Francisco. Yeah, but the only time I went there when I was I was 13 years old, when I went to a trip to California with my, my parents, and because of the, sometimes when you fly, you get flying sickness. I was stuck in the bathroom the entire day when my, my whole family went out to San Francisco to go enjoy the, the town. I was just there last summer, and I was out there. Did, are you touching your nose? Because I told I you can't to help do. it. I got an itch. I can't scratch. No, just ignore it. Okay. Okay, so anyway, you were going to say? Now I itch all over. <laughs> I am so itchy. I'm itchy and to drink some beer. I think about Monk. Okay, Monk was a great show for San Francisco. He had OCD out the wazoo. 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 I think that's a street in San Francisco, actually. Yeah. So what is this uh, beer full? What's its full name, Dave? Uh, Old Foghorn Ale, a, tr a English tradition revived, rev revered, revived. What's that called? <laughs> Reverse pinch. No wonder they say you only have like four four different kind of beers when you're doing your beer review. <laughs> All right, I'll tell it. I it would is. say no, no, no. Shh. Say, shh. Anchor Brewing. San Francisco, California, Old Foghorn, and then you do the rest? Leghorn, no. Uh -huh. um, the maltiness, sweetness, fruitiness, unique hop aroma, and high original gravity of Foghorn. Stop, 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 stop. I was introducing the name. You said you wanted to do it. Do the do name. What? Old Foghorn, barley wine style okay. ale. That's the I part thought you, were, you already said that part and you wanted me to say the rest no, of no, it. No, no, no. That's okay. We're all good, buddy. Okay. Now, the interesting thing I just want to bring up before you read it is this is what? The third barley wine style ale we've done. Okay. This is a very a interesting style. No, 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 no. Okay. Um, now, a couple of thoughts. Right off the bat, we'd like to talk about everything about the beer. The whole experience, including the bottle. Um... Not a coated stock paper. I don't like that. I like it when they have a coated stock. I don't like the feel of an uncoated stock. It's very, very dry. Not He's an artist. Things. He's weird. I'm an artist. All right, go ahead, my friend. Reed, uh, tell us about this old foghorn. I don't really like the label that much. It's kind of plain. Yeah, I mean, nice typography, though. I don't mind the paper feel. I guess that's an artiste feel of it or something. Mm -hmm. But the malty sweetness, fruitiness, Unique hop aroma and high original gravity of Foghorn Leghorn. I mean, old Foghorn barley style ale is to is to beer much as port is to wine. Yeah, you think about porter, port wine. You know, you think about that. I never thought about that before. Just just now. Right. Old Foghorn is brewed based on historic English barley wine methods. It is it, it, what it says in the bottle. No, it's actually different. I'm uh, sort of okay. interested to read what's on the bottom now. Um, it's a it is highly type. hopped, fermented with a true top fermenting ale yeast, carbonated by a natural process called bunging. 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 So that means like bungee cord? I <laughs> am Cornholio. Would you like to go bunging with me? <laughs> to produce champagne-like bubbles. I guess it's got a lot of bubbles in it. Oh, my God. People, we've Are you threatening gone too me? Far. We've gone now too far, people. Hello. Are you threatening me? That was messed up. Yeah. I am Jim Holio. Fire! 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 Well, let me read you what it says on the label here. Uh, no, no, I'm not done yet. Still got 18 oh, pages sorry. to go. Oh. Please okay. continue. Yes. Okay. Um, CBS Care. Um, so did Jim and Dave. Yes. Uh, carbonated by a natural process called bunging. 
to produce champagne like bubbles. Champagne. And dry hopping where traditional cascade hops while it ages in our cellars. Cellars. Made only from first wort. That's the first time I heard that word said three times or once at all the entire but I heard it three times in it already. Huh. The cat looks blue. Well, that's the TV over there yes. giving us. Um the rich first runnings of an all malt mash. Three mashes are required to produce just one barley wine. Interesting. Well, that's cool. I never knew that before. Tough turn Introduced out, in 1975. It's not that old. Hmm. Uh, old Foghorn Ale was the first modern American barley wine sparkling renewed interest domestically and in Britain. The name was derived, 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 okay, from the English tradition of attaching the word old to barley wines to denote their tradition. Intensive brewing process and cellar aging and foghorn gave it a San Francisco flair. Today, old foghorn, shut up, I'm doing the best I can. Okay. It's just that you talk <laughs> one word at a time. I was talking I like am. William Shatner, my hero. What? Why? Why would you do that, Spock? It is against the He's prime directive. Man. He may be in the new Star Trek movie. No. <gasps> yes. Ale, old foghorn ale is best enjoyed sipped after a meal. We have to eat now. We do. No, we don't. Um, it's got a video here, but we can't show that to you. You have to go to the website. Oh, that's fine. We're saying anchorbrewing.com slash beer slash old underscore foghorn. All right. Now I'll just read you real quick what's on the label here. I'll try to be a little bit more concise than David over here because we're at seven minutes. He's trying to be to a yet. bad man. He is bad, but no good. I, you are the bad man. You are the bad man. Bad man. Bad okay, man. Okay. Just to tell you. Yeah. Now, San Francisco's celebrated Treat. old foghorn ale has been... Virtually, virtually, virtually handmade you're as bad as me. by the brewers. You're right, I am. Of oh, Anchor Steam beer. I've had Anchor Steam. I went to San Francisco. Absolutely good stuff. I went there. I was on the trail. Now, in one of the world's smallest and most traditional breweries since 1995, like Dave said, our barley wine style ale, the first of its kind in modern times in the United States, has a luscious depth of flavor. And it makes ideal for sipping after dinner. And do I get two of these? I do get two of these. It's barley wine. Do you want to put one away and split it? Um, it doesn't say you can put it away, but I guess there is well, a style. Well, it's, it's a wine. You can put wine away in a, in a 55 degree or under in a dark place there in the corner of the okay. cellar. I don't know. I, I I can drink the whole thing. I just wonder if you wanted to keep it. Well, can I'll you buy these separately? Well, how about we do this? Why don't we open one? We'll split it. We'll do the review. Yeah. And if we like it, uh, we'll, we'll put the other one away. Oh, yeah. If we like we'll it. If we don't like it, uh, then who direction. cares? Okay. And it says here, um, it's like made it. with top fermenting yeast, fresh whole hops, and first wort. There's a name. You mentioned that already. Yeah. The first runnings at a thick all malt mash. Now, Old Foghorn is dry hopped, like you said, and in the classic ale tradition. And it's aged in our cellars until it Attains the perfect balance, multi sweetness, estery fruitness, and exquisite hop character. You make glasses. Yep. For which it is known throughout the world. Okay. So we were going to open two. Uh, we're thinking we're going to save this for a year from now. Oh, we're all better. Mm. Hit me up, bud. Wow, that's got a nice uh, ambery color right off the bat. Mm, there you go. You gotta give me the rest of that. I think we're good. Oh, wait, no, no. Let me, let me, let me. Dink. Well, right Ooh. off the bat, uh, so we have a little controversy. We're gonna do two, or maybe we're just gonna do one. This has, Dave, right. how would you describe this color? That's a dark color, man. I would say it's like a copper color. It is, I can, now, I have many lights in the ceiling up here. You can't see it here, but they're inset. Yeah. And, as I look through the bottle at one of the lights across the room, it looks perfectly red. Didn't they say this is going to be like a lot of uh, bubbles or something? 
Well, we do have a very thick head here. This is almost for a two finger head on it. Um, the color, it, it is a little bit opaque. It does have a certain fogginess to it, which is interesting for a barley wine. Sparkling renewed interest. Okay, that's different. Sparkling. Yeah, that's where I got it from. Should I ring a bell every time you touch your nose? Do you know that you touch your face 2,000 times a day and you don't even realize it? Well, that's not as much as I touch other places. Too much information? Sorry. Anyway, Dave, let's move it along. Um, now, I look at the head here. It's a very cream color. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> yes. I'm married, too. Oh, well. Yes. Uh, I have an excuse. A lot, lot of foam on this. Um, that's seeing a whole not lot of foam. Too much coming. foam. The foam went down pretty well. Now, now, don't you think that this is almost opaque? I mean, it does seem to have like a copper. It's got a lot of reddish hue in it. Reddish hue. Reddish, very dark. Red. You cannot see through it. I can see kind of like this is kind of like red. No, not red wine. That seems like wine because the wine's either red or or pink or or or, or uh, champagneish color. All right, listen, we're at 11 minutes, 12 seconds. Oh, we're running out of time. Here we here. go. Let's, let's well, ready. let's do a sniff. That smells like barley wine. Yep. What is that smell? That's a, um, is that a barley smell right here? I don't know. I'd have to be. Listening. It's very similar to the barley wines we tried, though. You know, it's, I, it's, it's almost as if the wart is coming through. If, uh, and I've never made beer before. I don't know what wart smells like. <laughs> well, we'll Google that later. All right, buddy, I think we got to drink it. Enough analysis yeah, on the color and smell. I have too much fun with this gentleman over here. It's like, the whole time we start talking, and the whole time it's like, what, we got to drink beer too? Yep, yep. Um, interesting. Uh, this is a very this classic. Tastes like wine. It bar it's a very classic. If you like the barley wine style of ale, I think you will like this. Um, the character is. Somewhat unique does for a barley wine. Case? Um, probably, I would imagine it does. We're gonna, we changed our mind. We were gonna each drink one. We're gonna put one away for next year because we, as we understand it, this is a style that we'll keep for a little bit. So we're gonna open this up again next year and we will review it. Are you sure we can't get this at, at uh, Capone's? We might be able to. Local brewery, by the way. Um, I really excuse like me, it. bar. Uh, I was thinking I'd like to have the other one. Really? Well, let's crack it open then. Screw it. Okay. It doesn't say it's lends itself to beer. Very interesting character for beer. Tastes like wine, doesn't taste like beer. It has a certain sweetness. Um, we didn't make sure I had to use our alcohol by volume, did we? Oh, you opened it. I thought we were going to save it. No, you're drinking it. All right, fine. We can, get, we can go to Capone's and get another one. All right, fine. Or two or three or four or five. I don't care. Oh, good. Exactly. Um, what Dave. does it say? It doesn't say anything about the alcohol content here. Well, let's mention it. Uh, Twelve maybe ounces. Beer, maybe the beer advocate has it or something. Oh, here it is. It's on the back. It is. As I suspected from the taste, it's very hot. Dave, what would you guess the alcohol content is for this? Don't look. Nine point two. Nine point four. Wow, see how good I am? You are good. I am good, that's what she said. I'm sorry for touching my nose, people. I, I have an itch right now. I need to scratch it. When I get off camera, I'm going to go nutsy. Yeah, um, let me scratch Sometimes I, I scratch anyway. You know what, people? I'm having fun. Who cares? Um, this is my, my reasons, Dave Kressler. One of my reasons for living is to come here and hang and out with my friend nose. and drink beer and watch TV shows. and eat Dave, we're one minute left before you two cuts okay, off. Okay, I give this an eight and a half. I think that is a it fair does. assessment yeah, in the barley I, wine category. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. I have to get if more you, of this. I can't say I'm a huge fan of this category. I have to get another one. This is drinkable. Um, I think that on, on the right occasion, for the right food, I would buy it. Um, yeah. I don't know if it's on my must-buy list. They would buy it. It is on my must-buy list. I'd like to get this again. There you go. And Dave is not one that doesn't. Stray too far from what he likes. No, right? I like certain things. Where are you going? Well, we got like 20 seconds left. All right. Uh, well, I'll take care of it. Okay. I just thought I'd help you out this time, and you can sit there and talk. All right. I give it a 7.5. I give it an 8.5. I like this a lot. Do not drink and drive. Do not drink if you're pregnant. Do not watch our stuff again under 21. Say bye, Dave. Goodbye, people.